All right, headed into night number six. We might not have runners tonight, if such a thing is even possible. All right, boomers and guardians. This side looks like it may be, we may have, I mean, this team being on the, on the quote, hard side isn't terrible, but. We'll start out with that. And then I'm gonna stay here for a moment, I think, to pick off some, some baddies from behind here that we wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Not a bad, not a bad turn there, for sure. We can move to here safely, so let's do that, and then, and then see what we can see what we can find here. Couldn't quite get him taken out, unfortunately. Uh, Probably should have went for a sensor. We, we do want to get rid of these sensors. Uh, now over here, this is, uh, gosh, Isaac is uh, a lot of things, including the slowest, uh, the slowest boy ever. Oh my gosh, that's just not enough damage. I'm gonna move to here, I think. Just drop the poison, and then I'm gonna spend the rest of my energy getting rid of this sensor, or some of the rest of my energy getting rid of the sensor. Because the sensors have uh, ramped in, in hardiness. Okay, that's all for there. Now, you can technically take him out, but he was already dead. Good job. Right, I'm not going to bother taking out the last two poison folks. Yeah, I should have probably worked on the mist sensors a little earlier. Now, we do need you to move out of the way. All right, so far so good. Oh, an energetic bulky. You love to see it. Holy hit point pool. Okay, that's that's an unfortunate uh that's an unfortunate one. Let's see. We'll start out with that and then Do that. Put some more damage in there. Is there any point in... I don't think there's any point in trying to do that one. We should probably get our momentum hit in, though, somewhere. There we go. Okay, so you can, you can move a fair amount. So I'm going to take out the big guns here. Okay. Okay, we took out the big bulky, which I think was import important. Or excuse me, the big boomer, that is. Um, I'm going to use a ballista to get rid of that, just so I have a bit more visibility here. And then, yeah, let's just soften up this cluster here a bit. I'm going to try to 
Try to get my one-on-one -on -one shots here as much as possible. The only way we're going to make Isaac do any damage, I feel like, is uh, is through stacking up that isolated damage to 11. But this backside feels super under control. This feels eh, not terrible. I'll probably take out this sensor next turn. I don't like the new blue enemies, as a side note. I know that's like a weird statement, but I really don't like the the fact that they added color variants, but it makes certain enemies just hard to see. Uh, at least that's my read on them. Keep stacking that bonus. We'll leave that as is for now. Uh, okay, so someone's going to have to... take out the the wings as it were let's grab let's grab this and just repeat the process again just trying to remove some baddies but let's see what's the actual play here Oh yeah, yes. That's a uh, that's that's something uh, that's that's been that way for a while. I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, let's do that, and then I think friendly neighborhood sword blast. Okay, and then next turn we're gonna have to deal with these guys, but I think we're we're relatively okay. You have actions, but nothing to do. You guys are basically starved for fun. All right, we'll call that good enough. Hmm. This is a great propagate. I'm trying to think when it was when it was melee only. I, I have to admit, like I I I don't remember uh a time when it was. I, I totally believe you. Uh, I just, uh, oh, I, well, that wasn't, that wasn't great. I, uh, I really wanted to get this guy dead so that I had, uh, isolated targets here. I think I just need to let my, my one by one damage bonus go though, unfortunately. Cause I think leaving up two guardians is, uh, is sloppy. Okay, everything's fine over there. Now this over here. Ooh. 
Really? I didn't get you? Okay, so I think we're going to have to take out the boomer this way. Oh, three attacks there was not what I was hoping for. We have tons of movement, so I'm going to do that and then retreat a bit like that. Yeah, we don't need to do anything else here, I don't think. Well, we can start working on our uh, we can start working on our one by one bonus at least a little bit. Ah, uh, one by one has always been in the assassination branch, to my knowledge. Unless, unless I'm thinking back to when it was. To bef unless you're thinking back to before the perk overhaul entirely, uh, this is this is bad. We're uh, we're getting inundated here in a big way. That's a lot of boomers down on that bottom uh, that bottom side of things. Come on, game. Good stuns there, though. Uh, but I think we're going to have to... Focus on the center area here a bit more. need to make sure we have enough to retreat. When push comes to shove here. Uh, which... If we get rid of this boomer, if we step to here, we step one more in. No, I think we get blown up on. So tempting. So tempting. But I think... I think it's better to be a little conservative here. We still have two of these left as well. We're going to have to deal with this very soon. All right, we'll come back to that. Huh. Oh, I see what you're saying, Tuna. I gotcha. Sorry, sorry, I was being a little dense there. It's sometimes hard to uh, to get the the brain cooking while also trying to uh, trying to to play the game. You know. All right, this is all good. I think this is good to the point where I'm gonna start trying to reinforce down here, just because I'm worried about how things are going on the other side of things. <laughs> yeah, I think our I think our poison user can do uh, can do the work that needs to be done, but this cluster of of bulkies over here is uh, extremely bad for business. How many of them can I hit? I can hit three of them. I think we do do that. How far do I have to go to be able to see things here? This is...
Okay. Not not saying that was necessarily the way to go, but Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that and then come over to here. I still have one action left. Is this a kill? No. So let's not let's not go in on you. Move to here. All right, and then let's drop some poison on some unsuspecting fools. Disappointed that boomer is gonna live, but yeah, and then nothing, nothing to do until we clear out over here. Uh, is there any way to protect that catapult? Losing a catapult would be bad for business. Hey, Rusty, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. This is uh, this is about as bad as it gets, though. Let's see. Any chance of? I think we just move to there, then do that into that. Uh, let's see. And then I think... Get those out of the way. Okay, we need... This guy needs to go. <laughs> what, uh, what are you playing these days, Rusty? What's your, uh, what's your poison? So I think our melee is gonna actually hold on a second. Can who's okay, so if we stand here we block some stuff, and I think we'll be okay. Now up here. Unnecessary extreme poisoning there, but what can you do? If I move you to here, can you you're like one turn away from effective. Oh, nice, Rusty. What uh, what did you think? How was your uh, how was your play session? All right, I think I think I've done everything I can do. Oh no! Please hit me, not the catapult. Thank you, game. All right, Isaac, Isaac has arrived. Let's see, so. I don't know that was a very efficient way of, of handling that, but also, what is up with this visibility here? Uh, Sixteen percent, and we missed three times in a row. I, uh, I'm not even angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs>
There's third eye procced. Let's get this guy because we're probably not going to have another way to get him. Man, I, I the number of times that I wish that I, I had marked is uh, is vanishingly small. Um, you do have movement though, right? That's good because I don't want this. I don't want this boomer blowing up on me. Okay. And actually, this if I move to here, can I just body block you? Will that work? Yeah, you're not gonna blow up. That should that should take some heat off. Um, I think Eleonora can take the heat. Okay. Looks like no panic coming in. Probably should have uh, given Isaac some some action for being such a kind gentleman and coming all the way down here, but ooh, that was a that was a spicy night. Isaac still doesn't get the level up. Are you joking me? Less than a hundred experience off. Isaac is uh, Isaac is giving me heartburn here. Okay, instant replay of the last one. <laughs> I will uh I will make sure to pass that along, Shen. For sure. Adamantium short bow, crossbow. I'll probably roll that once. At least. Rusty sledge. Plus three rusty sledge. Ooh, those pants, though, are pretty spicy. I think those pants are worth picking up. <sighs> but let's see. We have some money. It's uh, it's time to invest in our innkeeper, I reckon. It's time to get that upgrade as well, since we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have folks. Do we have a three ruin? We don't have a three ruin, so let's take that one down. Increase hero capacity. I'm tempted to do the next item level up, I think. But maybe how we've picked up this 334 for our next character. Paloma is, uh, is not terrible, but no, no dice on that one. Let's see. So this, I'm not seeing anything I like here, so let's give that a reroll. I think we already have Warlock Reeves on our magic user. That's garbage. Action point on an iron shield is not terrible. That was a that was a lucky pickup for sure. The adamantium short bow plus two is pretty decent. Replacing a wooden short bow plus three, but we get nine percent damage off of it. Yeah, let's go for that. And then I think I said I wanted these pants. Yeah, I do. I also kind of want the rusty sledgehammer, though. But we'll go with that. So Zayna... Oh, Zayna needs these pants so that she can level up. I guess that means that Isaac gets these pants and the short bow and then i'm planning on giving this to you for the extra action point and the worn greaves can go 
double hand crossbows. Okay, that might that might change things up slightly. Which one of our ranged characters can can make it work? Initiator but no volatile versus volatile but no initiator. Isaac's just about to level up, so we'll get initiator next time. I don't think it's terrible. And I, I think we need to we need to find a way to make uh make Isaac function a little better. So we'll do that we'll take the short bow off the multi-hit long bow comes over here which gets him up to four multi-hit which is pretty good and then the best of these long bow short bow it's a bit of a step down for z for sure yes by far by far tuna uh the propagation bounces one isn't bad either i will say but I'm going to pick up this Rusty Sledgehammer plus four, I think. I think it gives us a ton of flexibility on our melee character that we're kind of lacking with the two-hand sword. And that'll be that'll be great for, like, single target stuff. Yeah, Bully, Bully gets more interesting for sure uh, now. Now let's see, we have one worker left and nowhere to put them. I could do a guess where. I think the, I think they're going to be evenly ranked, though. Last time they were off, and so I think they're going to be, not be this time. But let's just do level ups. I like Boom. I like Boom and I like Sheer Power here. Boom is fun. Night Owl, Night Owl is quite strong though. Yeah, I think I'll go, I think I'll go Night Owl. I think we need that extra little that extra little oomph. Take the damage when we can get it and take the range damage. That's not bad. Pretty underwhelming top tier here. I, right now I'm eyeing sh uh, Sheer Power as the best for Xena. Yeah, 50% 50% less resistance is going to help us take out like Spear Boys and things like that. Um, what do we? Let's do our secondary first. I'll just take the ooh blue magic damage. And then now we can roll this. All right, more mana. <laughs> mana collector, I don't think we need it. Let's go potent toxins first, of course. What does that put our poison damage at? 325? Not bad. Now, given the, the change up that we've experienced here, I think Isaac is going to come down here with Eleonora, and Zayna is going to come up here with our poison generator. And then I think it's time that we invest in Waygates. But where do I want to put the Waygate? I think I'm going to put the Waygate here. And I'm going to put the Waygate here and then a little bit of defense for waygates never hurt anybody get our defenses repaired and i think one more catapult uh, i actually think walls are starting to be more interesting to me 
We need to start keeping things off of our walls, but also we need to start getting some walls up and operational because we're going to need them for that final night in a big way. So we got to protect the ones that we're, uh, that we're investing in. Now, one worker is not going to do much good for us. I guess the guess where is not terrible. Yeah, it's even. Okay. You live and you learn. We have 98 gold left to spend. Action point on the armored boots is pretty good. Wait, we have the wooden shortbow plus three that I sold. What is Zena's shortbow right now? The adamantium shortbow plus two. Yeah, okay, that, that was the better of the two. That's fine. Nothing interesting there. All right, let's, let's figure out who gets an extra action point. I, like, I kind of like the Swift Elven boots, at least for the moment. The isolation is good there. That's good there. All right. Isaac is getting Isaac is getting a much undeserved hookup uh, here. And 46 left. Are there any upgrades we can pick up for 46? Not really. No buildings to build, so it really it really does come down to is there anything of interest here. Uh, a triple swipe is pretty interesting. There's there's an argument to be made for that as well, but like triple swipe just adds something to Eleonora's kit that is otherwise lacking. So I think that's a good pickup. All right. And then let's see. They're not advertising runners. That doesn't mean that we don't have runners or claws coming in, but I think it's relatively safe to have them behind that water sort that water feature. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Trying to decide who's going where. The the biggest like collection of baddies is over here. Can you even get in on them? You kind of can actually. So maybe we'll do this. Let's just hope that we uh that we get the guardians. That's good. Ramsey doesn't have volatile either. I feel like we didn't get any volatiles on on this. Uh, So that means that you're doing this side over here. Oh, very, very disappointing breakpoint there. Uh, let's see, and then you over here. I don't quite have the range to get this last guardian sorted without dropping a second poison. I think that's fine, though. Okay. And then I'll put some damage in on this just because we can. Now, over here... Hammer time. The orb second skill. Yeah, that could have that could have been a play as well. I agree. Okay. Not a bad start. And then I think we can just uh, multi-hit this. 
cluster down to oblivion without too much trouble. So many action points. That feels nice. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good start. Uh, the bats are going to be slightly annoying, just because they're uh, they're doing the end run around here. Is this another energetic dude? No. Four hundred health. Okay. We'll come back to you. How many hit points is up? 1,200? We're hitting for like... Okay, we'll, we'll keep... We'll keep dancing around a little bit until we get... Uh, until we get where we need to go. That was very disappointing. Alright, now this looks like... This looks like a job for Blaze. If I move up to here, I can't quite retreat far enough, but I think I'm going to kill everything. But we don't really gain access to anything that we didn't have access to before. So... Good enough. I'm kind of wondering if I just come over here and just pepper the sensor. Yeah, that's good. Get line of sight on you, but we can. This is just as good. Whoa, talk about a, a rather narrow beam there. Can we get both these bats? That's great. Oh, it's it's almost too meta. Uh, I you'll you'll see me avoid. Uh, Avoid multi-hit builds with uh, with range characters when I can, but on Glenwall Apoc 5, it just uh, it's really hard to avoid, unfortunately. It is just difficult to avoid. Just take a step back, and that's going to do it for our turn. We went a little deep with our melee. Hopefully this doesn't... Uh... Yeah, we took a bit of damage. Okay, so let's see. So... Get rid of you two. That breakpoint hurt. Now we just retreat. Let's let's do up here next, I think. Do you have thrifty? You do. Okay, let's uh let's proc thrifty. Kind of feel like having these two do a swap. Like have 
have Ramsey come over here and bring Zena over here. Uh, that was disappointing. We're one off from proccing, uh, proccing Thrifty, and that lines up quite nicely with... Sure. I don't think we're going to get much more than five, uh, five out of that. Do a bit of a retreat here. Yeah, I keep I keep expecting to see a uh, a nerf come in for uh, for the the hand crossbow. I think it it needs it desperately. Is that worth it? Questionable, I think. Oh, that was all my actions. Surprise! We'll get them next turn. And I think I think we're just fine with uh with hand crossbowing. We'll get so much snare on anything that survives. I don't think this is going to be too terrible. So I think I think multi hit is a fun. Uh, what is? What is moving so quickly? Okay, so you you just need to go, but you're gonna go. Uh, I think multi-hit is a really fun dynamic, so I'd rather see Blaze get nerfed, because I think, at the end of the day, the, the real issue is there's no other ability in the game that scales off of both uh, multi-hit and propagation, and the combination is just, uh, it's just a lot. Okay, there we go. Oh, still got an action point. All right, just keep it going. There we go. So let's see, am I gonna do the swap? I think it's smart, honestly. So I think I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna have Ramsey run over this way. Well, actually, I think run over this way. Eh, that puts you in danger though, doesn't it? Because the way that I built this with this wall here, probably needs to get fixed. Uh, we'll see. I might I might take a hit. Okay, so let's so let's come over here. And start dropping poisons because this will this will clean this side up pretty pretty quickly. That tree is really in the way there. Hmm. Good enough. So now over here, though. I can't see you. Oh, that feels awful. Um, hmm. This, this sensor is also super in the way. Yeah, I mean, at, at some point, they can only nerf things so far without uh, without just running out of things to, to nerf. Um, I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to try and proc third eye there. Which, oh, I didn't even succeed. I'm still, I'm still one off, two off. Oh, those don't count as enemies hit. Okay, well, let's... 
Let's just do that. Yeah, I hate I hate the the thing that I have created for myself here. All right, not not a great roundup there to be sure. Let's see. I think it's time for another blaze. way oh, I'm out of uh, out of the good stuff so I will not that plan is uh, is canceled whatever just get rid of this bat for next time love the hammer love a hammer with range I'm gonna let that bat go, though. Sure, I'll just come back over here, doesn't matter. Recenter you a little bit. Alright, and then unfortunately we're gonna take we're gonna take a hit on our car on our caster here, but Oh, yeah, and I'm glad I brought Ramsey over here just because things are going to get... the Things in the upper right are going to get a little bit uh, suboptimal here, I reckon. Okay, so let's start out with this. I think just... Now, if I move up to here, can I get you? No. Here? I question the, the line of sight on that one, but... Oh, we got both our elites up in this corner. This thing is energetic. So does it move twice? Does that mean that that radius? No, that means that I'm only seeing one of its two moves here. So that's actually, that's going to be pretty bad for us, I think. Uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to go a little deep on this because I think we're going to need to reinforce uh, up there. But I think for this turn, we're just going to zap those two. And then we're going to have to like fight over our shoulder a bit so that this, because this elite winged, if it moves to here, then it can move again to here. I don't know what we're going to do about that. Uh, this... Didn't realize we had a had a bat that had made it into the panic zone. Should have paid attention to that sooner, probably. Yeah, I just want I want the walls to survive, so I'm gonna go after that guy. Okay, you need to move. Oh wait, we haven't. Oh, we haven't even started over here. Those catapult shots were were unnecessary then. I thought we were at the end of the turn, not the beginning. Let's see. We could we could do a quick transfer and make sure that this bat gets dead. I don't mind that idea.
Okay, that felt pretty good. And what's this guy? This guy's regeneration? That's not... That's not terrible. Um, so with two actions left... We still have a lot of movement, though. Okay, let's let's focus for a second over here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be spending a blaze to clean things up. Visibility on that is pretty tragically awful. Um, you're, I'm not going to be able to get a shot at you. So I'm potentially going to take a hit no matter what. So I think I just guard myself against that. Can't really, can't really do much there, so. Do we think this gets the kill? Doesn't. Hmm, that's disappointing. Alright, I guess we just, I guess we just hold off. We have so much movement. Why don't I just move here, kill this guy, and then... Then we can retreat. Alright. That wall. Stay away from my wall, game. I move to like here can I just are there blaze options there are but there aren't they aren't very good all right I'll just do that I don't think yeah not not the best oh and I don't have a shot on you That was wasteful. Um, also, somebody is able to get near me. That's a little, a little spicy. Okay, so somebody needs to come back over here and start working on this again. But I don't think that's I don't think that's the way. Probably should have taken that one out sooner, uh, if I'm being honest. So I think I'm just gonna 
keep chunking into this guy. That's an insane amount of armor, I'm realizing now. Alright, that's better. Do I need help over here? As much as this is spending, uh, spending some mana that I probably should refrain from, I want to get this guy gone so he doesn't ruin my, uh, my goodies. Okay, we're out of, we're out of actions there, so I'm just going to take a step back here. Why am I? This is the one that's getting in there. Yeah, that's fine. Everything looks good now. And then the only question is, is do I want to get in here at all? I feel like our men is in an okay place. So I'm not super inclined to. Yeah, I'll just do that. And hopefully we don't take too much damage on our, uh, on our ranged character. the hand crossbow pairing with the long with the longbow it is uh it's very satisfying good stuff Show me third eye. That was a very disappointing third eye, but... And I think all seven that are left are, uh, are poisoned and dead. There we go. Not bad. So, I have never tried that tuna. Uh, I have never played with Propagation Two-Handed Hammer. Uh... I, I hardly ever use that skill. I'm sorry to notice a pattern here. We're uh, we're we're getting sandwiched, uh, big time. Really, you think two-handed sword is the best melee weapon? That's that's very interesting to me. I'm not I'm not disagreeing. I'm just uh, I just find that very interesting. That rusty axe is, is pretty interesting. I don't think it's what we need right now, but... I feel like I feel like I spent a bunch leveling up the uh, the item level on our on our crafting buildings and they're still pretty garbage. Um, and I think it is we did. We did the next upgrade on hero capacity, right? Or did we not? Yeah, we currently can pick someone up. And it looks like Thorndike might be our person. Giant's Blood I don't love. Pirate is okay. With the Assassination Tree. We just, we just need people who are high level. That's all there is to it. Now let's see. We push back. Ah, we can't push back. So we're going to have... We're going to have some spare... Whatever. We need 144 for the next level of that. I don't think we're getting there. Well, we might actually.
Yeah, let's get the next production upgrade. Even though we haven't uh, we haven't done a great job with production buildings. And then do we want to pick up a second? I think a second piece of armor. Well, we just picked up another character, so let's get uh, let's get the bower going, in hopes that this new one with the increased level is going to have something nice for us. So, okay, so you're, you're using it for the momentum damage. I can see that. Uh, what is Thorndike? What do you have for perks? You have Initiator and Volatile. Do we want to pivot to you being our hand crossbow person? I think we do. Because we, we haven't invested much in the way of Isaac except for gear. So, Isaac, you're losing your gear. Thorndike, welcome to the multi-hit club. Then for now, you can have an adamantium crossbow, but we'll work on that. The pistol is an interesting offhand. I think it doesn't work for us here, unfortunately. I think the longbow is a better pairing. So I'm going to roll this one more time. I'm really going deep trying to find something good. All right, I'm going all the way. Propagation. It's not that interesting, but it's, it's at least it's decent damage. Yeah, the, the two hand axe is uh, is bad for sure. <laughs> None of these are particularly useful, so we'll take this one just because it sells decently. I do like daggers. I, I have never not liked daggers, but I think we're mostly getting these things for selling because none of them are really speaking to me that much. Now, Thorndike, let's let's do your level ups early here. Uh, We're looking for propagation bounces and multi-hit, so we're going to roll a bit here. I don't mind isolation. Ah, uh, yeah, but I, I, I like a good, uh, I like a good dagger for sure. Uh, do you have harvester? You don't, so I'll take that. But propagation damage is a good one. Range damage is good. Propagation bounces is huge. Multi-hit is huge. Wow. We just we just got the hookup. That was uh That was something to behold what we just got what we just picked up there. I do need some accuracy though. Got some resistance reduction. That's that's too good to pass up. I'm looking now for accuracy. Thank you, game. Big damage. More accuracy. Okay, that was that was a solid uh, a solid selection there. Yeah, I, I can see that uh, tuna. I I like the one hand axe though. I think I think the one hand axe is not entirely uh, garbage. I like perseverance on hand crossbow folks for sure. Then first blood is strong, especially if we're going initiator. I think nimbleness is very strong. Initiator is an easy pickup. Thrifty is going to be important for us. Volatile is good. Human Ballista is potentially good. I think Legendary Assassin is our first pick up here with an eye on Big Game Hunter, but Thorndike I think is going to be strong. I'm, I'm psyched about that. More damage.
I don't know how much I care about that, uh, about momentum right now. It's better than any of the alternatives, but... So I want to take boom. Yeah, I take boom. It's fun. I think our accuracy is good enough. I mean, Zayna just needs some more damage. And... Clearly physical damage. Ramsey, Ramsey, Ramsey. Take some stun skill chance, uh, although I don't think we're going to utilize it very much. And we'll take some damage. I mean, most things feel pretty insufficient next to the uh, next to the hammer for sure. Now we don't have debuff, so we can't extend the time on things. Our man is hurting a little bit, but I'm tempted to take big game hunter. It's so good against the druids. And then Isaac, 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 Isaac. You are you 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 had a purpose for like a minute there. And then your crit is pretty high, so we're going to stick with Crit Master. Probably Explosive Runes here. We could go with a Flexibility build and give you something else to play with. But I don't know what we pair, since we're not going from a Momentum build. I like the idea of proximity shot with uh, with flexibility too. That's a very interesting. It's a very interesting one. Yeah, let's take a look at the merchant. It's a good call. Although I'm a little, we're a little broke. I think this crossbow is interesting. This this goes on someone. We sell the wooden rifle and we sell that, which probably gives us enough. Probably going to be that Mithril short bow, if I had to guess. Does Ramsey... Ramsey does not have a helmet at all. That's a little pricey, though. I'm not super into it. I think it's got to be the short bow. Which is about all we can afford. Thorndike, you can have you can have that nice new hat. And then I think that's you for now. Someone doesn't have a helmet at all, so we'll just do that. Wand. That's an interesting that's an interesting call out, I will admit. I didn't see that one coming. I think. I think just range is going to be good here. Longer weapons is, is almost always a good pickup. This this was just an error. Uh, but let's let's start to get our walls closed in here as best we can. At least on the sides that we're uh, that we're taking heat from. Because I, I do find walls are the most important thing uh, in the in the end game here. So this was our weaker side. So I think, well, Thorndike is our new monster. So we'll move Isaac up here and have the three of these be, be kind of doing work over here. And then Thorndike and Eleonora should have no problem over here. I think Thorndike is going to be a bit of a monster. Mmm, that's interesting. So you're you're thinking use wand as kind of like a support class? I can see that. I, I have had such middling luck with wands as a general rule of thumb that I, I kind of don't even consider them. Uh, I think they're they're relatively weak. Uh, we could pick up some new some new pants. These these pants are not bad. Let's grab, let's grab some pants and find someone who, who's our person who, who needs a little bit of extra accuracy. Actually, I think Thorndike does right off the bat. 
Yeah, get Thorndike up to 30% accuracy, so we're not missing so many shots. And then... I think I'll probably just... Toss some, some gates down that we will eventually use. Oh, one perk point. Wait, who did I not... Who did I not perkify? Zena. Picked up sheer power last time. <sighs> These are all pretty not what I'm looking for. I might pick up Blink. It's useful for the final fight. Eh, not on a ranged character. Well, a little bit on a ranged character. Huh. These are all pretty terrible. Am I missing at all? I don't think I am. I wish Fortress Master was better. Quick reload. Guess that gives me an extra short bow shot. Yeah, I'll go for that. I'm down. That's a good recommendation, Tuna. Thank you. Did I not push back fog this turn? Looks like I didn't. I don't think I could, but maybe I could. Hopefully, I have not made a terrible error. But uh, let's uh, let's get into night eight. Yeah, I wish it wasn't. Uh, all right, Isaac. My friend. So many multi-hits. Uh, let's see. I think we might need a second one. Oh my gosh. It's too many. It's too many multi-hits. Uh, we might not get everyone with that. Multi-hit is completely balanced, and we get the energy refund. Oh, the humanity of it. They're both dead. Welcome to the party, Isaac. Let's see, what's the... How do I want to handle this? Okay. That's all, that's all reasonable. I'm endlessly bothered by the fact that guardian, that things can block line of sight, but not, uh, but not be visible. <laughs> There's something slightly counterintuitive about that, I feel like. Move back like that, and then over here. I will take it. Wait, 
Wait, I don't have line of sight on the on the sensor. Really, game? Okay. For next turn, that'll be it'll be convenient to have those sensors dealt with, and then. I don't think there's a, a value to leaving these here. All right. That's... Wait, you still have one more? Uh, we can't. Not much to do with it. All right. All right. Round... Turn one. Not terrible. Honestly, this side is looking a little sparse. We may actually struggle a bit to uh, to get full value. That's pretty good. Slightly, slightly underwhelming result there, but oh, three actions for that was really, uh, not the best. And if we step one more over, we can put some poison at the back here. That was that was a good result. Okay. You're all used up. You're all you have one left. Dear Guardians, why do you block line of sight? So let's see, I think this is just going to be, well, it's always so hard not to, not to utilize initiator, I feel like. Plus two action points. Line of sight remains, uh, that seems excessive. Sometimes hard to predict is all I will say about line of sight. Actions left. Let's uh, let's get this guy's goat. There we go. A little boom action. Love it. That's all she wrote there, so I'll go like this is actually that's a bad spot to stand. Yeah, the some of the like diagonal line of sight stuff, it's just it's just a little a little funky. I love seeing those 560s pop up when uh when human ballista is going off, it is satisfying. OK, 
Okay, if I step forward one, I can get you. Then I can get you, probably for two. We'll see. That I, I think some of those will be wasted. Ooh. Uh, that actually. Okay, that was that was pretty darn close to perfect right there. So I'm gonna turn my gaze on that for a second. Can't really get any more damage in on that though, so. Boom, doing, doing work. Okay, that was a little, that was a little bit of an excessive retreat right there. But we do want to go one more so the spear guy can't get us, uh, can't catch us sleeping. See, and then if we get this guy, I think we can have a nice little contagion proc down the line here. Hmm. Slightly disappointed with that. How is that a shot? Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. Just tra do the transfer after all. Okay, now you need to go back and then over here. Step out into the fray a little bit. Now let's see. How much poison does this have? You have 118 on you. I think it's probably worth transferring that poison over. Oh. Okay, good enough. Thorndike is just chilling. That was just sloppy. I think I, I think I even looked over there and I was like, ooh, I need to deal with that, but... The number of spear bros we got going on right now is, uh, is significant. Here, those two, put one there, one there, one there, one back there, and... Let's do a second one over there and hope that, yeah, the propagate went the right way. That's great. Get those, get that AP back. What is, oh, the line of sight issue. That's really annoying. There's no way I can get, I mean, I could do all those. 
sure, why not? Bad place to run to, though. Oh, let's see. I guess we're probably just gonna take a hit there. That's okay, though. Well, maybe we, that might not actually be the case. We might be able to get, like, a longbow shot to clean that up. Yeah, that's, that's better. I don't think anybody's surviving that. Sadly, no, no third eye to help us out with that one. This is a long night. Also, I keep procking Thrifty after I have uh, on my Reign of Arrows shot, which is not the not the way you want to do that one. Okay, that's all fine. That's a. That's a value shot right there. Wow, explosive bolt doesn't even doesn't even do the work. Okay, we're gonna need to keep retreating a little bit here, it looks like. Might be time to start breaking out some catapults to secure some kills. Nah, these, these catapults are kind of awkwardly placed. Uh, well, who put them there? I did, but... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna remove pressure where I can. I think that's the, that's the play. Somehow this guy did not end up uh, taking the poison. He did. He did now, but uh, okay. Safe little pocket there. Thorndike is just chilling. Okay, doesn't look like anyone's taking damage. off my wall. This sensor remains just so in the way. I think I'm probably just gonna come over here and point blank shot it twice apparently. And I think I'm also gonna jump over at this point. And then nothing, nothing really speaking to me here, so I think I'll just do this to snare him up. We might even be able to... Sneak some in like that. Okay. That's the one I want. There we go. What's my what's my accuracy here at? 15%. Alright.
Okay, now we have you in the middle here. Oh, I think I'm going to inch forward in order to try and get some poison in the back here. But I'm worried I just overextended. Yeah, I think I did. How many movement points do you need to get to me? You have six. One, two, three. So if we entangle you, you will not make it to me. Yeah, okay. So we take a hit from this guy. That's probably okay. Now I think we need to start conserving mana here. So... No kills, so we got the nice initiator proc. Can we, if I move over one, I lose you. That's fine though. Okay, one too many allocated there. Uh, Swap to that. Might as well just smoke him if you got him. Now, over here, I think I'm going to need Thorndike to end up doing the, doing the work. So... How did, I'm surprised that didn't get the kill just because I would have assumed Boom would have procced on both sides there. But. Alright. I think I'm going to lose that corner wall. Oh, okay, maybe. Ballista protects me. That root was absolutely huge, though. This this would have been so much worse if we had uh, if we had not rooted this guy with our final action there. Too easy. Not, uh, not the way I would describe it, but. You can move over one and now you're not taking a hit. Whoops, that was the wrong. That was the wrong ability. Okay, now over here. We did a good job protecting the walls, though. Okay, 14 left. I think they're all up here. And I think it's gonna be three after the poison clears. One after the poison clears. All right, clean night. A 
less level ups than I would have hoped. I would have expected Thorndike with the absolute monster that he was uh, presenting himself as to uh, to do the work. All right, this is still the the penultimate night, so we we still have an opportunity to pick up one more person. Chiara is a wildling, steadfast, and savage with a one-hand crossbow. It's pretty not what we're looking for, but I mean, more ranged characters is probably good for business. Let's see what we got going on here. The woolen pants aren't terrible, but they're probably not what we're looking for. Mithril longbow is good. Crossbow with an action point is also good. Momentum is going to be good for killing druids for sure, but I don't think any of those are that interesting. That sword is uh, pretty unfortunate. The, the woolen armor is not terrible. I'm going to roll it one more time, though. Am I going deep? I think I'm going deep. Not a not a great result there, for sure. I think we have at least one just still terrible longbow. Yeah, this is this is an upgrade. Where do we go with the crossbow? How? It's it's Isaac that's rocking the crossbow at the moment. Oh yeah, this is a big upgrade for Isaac. Okay, now the isolation pants. I don't know who, if anyone, would benefit from these. Probably someone who hasn't leveled up. Actually, the accuracy on those is too good to, to let go. I don't think that's a terrible swap. It's not, it's not great, though. And then Xena will give that. And now we have the difficult decision of finding a sixth character, which I think we really do need to do this turn. Um, we can't actually afford any of the really good ones. Um, so that that may actually be a next a, a next night type of thing, but I'm sweating the the configuration here. Well, we do get a bit more money out of this. That gets us up to 340. We need to go to 380 though. Yikes. Let's uh let's do guess where just so we know where the bad sides are. Hmm. Let's see. What would Another piece of armor? Is that what we're digging? Nah, I think I think we're gonna have to hold off until tomorrow, Tuna. Uh, I don't think I like it's too too difficult to try and come up with another thirty gold. Uh, well, we do have two workers and we have one ruin. Well, okay, now it gets a little closer. Now I might be inclined to try and come up with the six remaining gold. We probably just have a, a garbage trinket that I can toss out. Yeah, I'm never going to use this. Probably shouldn't have had it equipped in the first place. Well, it is plus one AP. I think I can let it go. I don't want to lose a movement. Although the Swift Elven Boots probably should be upgraded. 
The nasal home can go. All right, that gets us what we need. Although we're now recruiting. Yeah, exactly. One AP for the one who doesn't take advantage of it. So we got another one-handed crossbow person here in Chiara now. She has initiator and volatile. So we'll probably just do the standard build. Uh, but we're going to have no... We're not going to be able to equip them for anything. That Ronin Scarf is pretty sick. That Power Ring would be huge for us, but there's no way we're getting to 65. Let's see. 27 accuracy, I think, is enough. 50, the 78 damage we have on Eleonora, I don't think it's enough to carry, but it's... It's nothing, not nothing, that's for sure. Uh, I'm gonna grab sheer power. We need the we need the piercing for taking out the druids. Ramsey. A little movement goes a long way in the final fight. We can use the daily mana regen, it's not great. But 13% opportunism, I don't think is enough. Legendary Assassin for some free actions, I think is good. Take the damage and... <laughs> the reliability is off the charts uh, already. Isaac, what are we, what are we thinking here? I'm leaning Legendary Assassin right now. Yeah. Alright, Chiara. Please, oh please, show me some good stuff. Grab Range damage is good to pick up. I'll take some reliability, but I don't like it. XP gain is garbage. Night Owl? I can see the I can see the argument for it. What did I end up picking? I've already forgotten. Legendary Assassin? I think you get more. I personally I think with a character like that, you get more out of you get more bonus actions per turn out of Legendary Assassin than you do Night Owl necessarily. But I I agree it's a it's a toss up. It takes some crit power, but it looks like we're not going to get any of the real goodies. No propagation bounces, no multi-hit from the looks of it. Ooh, last second we got some propagation bounces. That's something. Take damage, we'll take some resistance reduction, that's okay. Gotta get that accuracy up. Should have taken the green accuracy there. That was uh That was a misclick. <laughs> the the vote of no confidence on Isaac is uh I understand it. I, I will say that much. Okay. We'll take steady aim. We'll take nimble for the movement. I'm going to take mana growth just because I think we need to get our mana pool up a bit. We'll take thrifty, initiator, volatile. Explosive essence. I'm eyeing big game. It's so good against the druids. I think I'm gonna grab it. Okay, so that's level ups. We uh, we get to build some walls. Just 
just to try to keep things under control. I think I will go like that. We need some gates. Then we're sitting at 285. We need... We need some options for getting around. And that feels like about all we're going to get out of it. Uh, so, so tuna quantity over quality. I I had in fact my it was my last run. Uh, quantity over quality bit me pretty hard in the final night where I got down to having one propagation bounce. Um, towards the end of the night, so I feel like it's a dangerous one to take on hand crossbows because of the number of kills that you're getting with them. You can really, really tank your. Uh, you can really tank your overall capacity for uh, for doing just about anything. So this is our big side. So Thorndike is going to be on the big side. Now, Chiara has no second weapon. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. We could rebuy the, the Adamantium Hand Crossbow if we come up with five gold. I'll probably do that just so they have a second weapon. But... We're going to be selling what? Garbage. Ah, oh, that's the five that we need. There we go. All right, you at least have a second weapon now. There we go. Because Chiara has no plus multi-hit at the moment, or has plus two multi-hit. Where did we get that? Oh, from Initiator. You don't think she's going to stick with a uh, with, uh, hand crossbow? I'm, I'm inclined to think that she will. So let's see. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put Ramsey over here. I'm going to put... Chiara, with, Chiara on the corner here, I think. I'm going to put... Isaac over here. I'm gonna put Eleonora here. Oh, this is this is messy. So it's gonna be the two of these over here. Chiara and Zena. It's gonna be Eleonora and Isaac over here. Ramsey is gonna be soloing, and Thorndike is gonna be soloing. I think it's gonna be a little tough. We'll see. We will see indeed. Uh, and then we may need some support, but that's why we have Eleonora down here. And I really despise that we have runners, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>